All right, Shalom. I like to give all praises to Yahweh, Bahashim Yahweh Shai, Bahashim Rakah Kadash. I like to give double honors to my apostles and elders of Great Millstone. Salutations to all the Lord's whole for elect scattered abroad, teaching his word in sincerity and truth. All right, I'm the brother Taz of War, and uh, back at you again this morning. Uh, it's about 8 17. Uh, I believe like today is May the 10th or the 11th or something like that. I always forget the date. Uh, excuse me, but um, anyway, I got some breaking news, man. And um, I know this is published back in March 16th, 2018. But here's a footage of a. Uh, this is this is amazing, man. You know, you gotta look at the comment board, and um, you know, some people say it's real or fake. But um, regardless, um, the scriptures, the Bible, uh, speaks on the angels riding in these vehicles. All right, the chariots. You know, this is the same. This is what you're seeing, which the world call UFOs. We call IFOs, identifying flying objects, because we identify them through the scriptures. But this is the same vehicle in which our Lord Yahweh Shai was taken up. All right. And in like manner, he's going to be coming back in this same fashion. All right. And, uh, you know, I first saw this video from uh, the brother, uh, brothers out there in um, GMS Central Africa. He put it up and then I saw it. I commented on it. And then I said, let me do some digging real quick. Uh, and this is from Daily Mail. You know, uh, Daily Mail, you know, this is their site. They, you know, they put up news. And as you can see, recommended for you. You got the other fluff news, which is ma which is uh, mainstream news, ABC News, CBS News, you know, and so on, BBC News. So you know that this is, uh, you know, they reported this as real. All right. Despite what people are saying, whether it's fake or real. But, you know, this is put out there for real, to be real. So I'm going to read this little thing, this little description down here. It says, um, the footage shows... A black grainy UFO gliding above the Malaysian village in the Nkuala district like a huge spaceship in Independence Day. It slowly makes its way across the skyline. Villages are heard crying out in amazement as it move, moves in closer. The video, which has gone viral in Malaysia, has been has since been rubbished by local police. All right. And, um, you know, rubbish just meaning they, you know, didn't, didn't take this video to be credible or to even acknowledge as if it's real, you know, and it do look like it's fake, uh, in a way because of the, the quality of the video, but here it again, you know, Hey, the most high does these things, man. You know, as it's written in second address, um, matter of fact, let me, um, let me get that real quick. Let me get this quick scripture and I'll get back to that. You know, I was there right there in Zechariah. Uh, fifth chapter. Um, let me go to Second Edges. Uh, one of my favorite chapters, Second Edges nine, nine and one. And um, the point that I wanted to grab was uh, uh, I just start from one. Second Edges chapter nine verse one. He answered me then and said, Measure thou the time diligently in itself, and when thou seest parts of the signs pass which I have told thee before. Then shall thou well understand, then shall thou understand that is the very same time wherein the highest will begin to visit the world in which he made. And how the Lord is going to visit this world? He's going to visit this world by the ways by the way of his angels. All right. And his angels are always spotted riding in those chariots, riding in those vehicles. All right. Whenever there's a great um, 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 great calamity coming upon the earth, a great uh, 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 disaster like a flood or a sandstorm um um uh, esau testing missiles you always can spot the chariots man all right they're always uh there you know because they they appease the wrath of him that made them okay you know they play a big part in the destruction you know and they play a big part in the deliverance all right of the children of israel in these latter days man and this is why throughout the world you're seeing chariots man all over the world you know, you know, the scriptures talk about how uh, they are the curse that go across the face of the earth. You know, I'm going to get that, man. All right. They're cursed until you Edomites and they're, you, East, you Esau Edomites, you know, you misinformed ones. The ones that, you know, you believe that they cool. You call them UFOs. You know, they're actually your enemy. They're going to destroy you. They're going to take this captivity from you with Yahweh Shai, who the world ignorantly called Jesus Christ. All right. And for the elites. You know, they know what they are. All right. They know what they are. 
they know that they're the angels of the most high and they come to Scopio. You know, they come to uh do they do their work, you know, to show themselves when they do. All right. And they're afraid of them. All right. Because they're the curse that go across the face of the earth. All right. Unto the wicked. All right. So it says, then shall thou understand that is the very same time we're in the highest will begin to visit the world in which he made. Because the most high created this. All right. Through Yahweh Shah and the Allah I am, the powers. OK. It says, therefore, when there shall be seen earthquakes and uproars of the people in the world, you know, you're going to see more of this, more up, up, uh, uproars and people going against the government. You know, sedition among men, civil unrest. All right. So these are the signs to look for. It says, then shall thou well understand that the most high. Notice it says, well, meaning, meaning you, you're going to know. All right. You're going to know. OK, it says, then shall thou well understand that the most high. Let me stress that again. You're going to know that the Lord is doing all these things, man. When you see brothers receive spiritual powers. All right. When you see those chariots swinging low, the thing, uh, uh, the marvelous works of the Lord, you know, the things that you can't explain, the supernatural and, and things that are happening. You're going to know that the most high is doing it, not Satan, not some just old demon because the most high control demons as well. Demons work for the most high. All right. Satan works for the most high. But you're going to know that it's the Lord. Everybody's going to say God, you know. You know, or, or people going to scream Jesus Christ. But those that's of the elect, they're going to say Yahweh. All praises to Yahweh. Ba'ashim Yahweh Shai. So it says, then shall thou well understand that the most high speck of those things from the days that were before thee, even from the beginning. Okay. So the end was spoken from the very beginning. And when you read 2nd Edra 6, it tells you that uh, through Jacob and Esau, when they were born, Jacob's hand held first the hill of Esau, symbolically telling you that e Jacob was going to take Esau out of power. All right. It says the end of the world is Esau. And who's up next to rule? Jacob. That's your storyline. That's your ending. All right. So it says, uh, verse five, for like as all that is made in the world have a beginning and the end, it says, and in an end and the end is manifest. All right. Verse 6, even so the times also of the highest have plain beginnings and wonder and powerful works and endings and effects and signs. And that was the point and why I grabbed the scripture. OK, because the most high is showing the signs by showing you the chariots that's going across the face of the earth. OK, and there's more, more and more sightings than it's ever been. You know, and now that everyone has hold of this, um, this crystal ball, which is these phones. All right. Everyone is able to record. So now these Edomites can't hide, you know, um, the fact that they've been hiding the, the angels of the Lord riding in the earth, in the heavens, you know, doing marvelous uh, uh, works, you know, and showing us signs. They can't hide it. That's why they're willing to to now um, make publish and make it known that. Uh, you know, we have uh, extraterrestrial beings, you know, and they calling them UFOs as if they're Martians or aliens. No, these are the angels of the most high. These are the angels of God, man. OK, they're not some UFO. They don't live on a different planet. They come from a different uh, rim. All right. A different dimension, man. OK, with a heavenly father di uh, dimension, at, which is in the fourth dimension. And they could enter well as they could enter into our dimension. Wherever how they please, man. They come in, they come in our world through portals, man. Okay? We're telling you this, but y'all don't want to believe it because I'm a, I'm able to tell you these things. It's like how how you know. You don't know that, you know, so it's debatable to you. But little do you know, this is the truth. All right? This is the scriptures. All right? And a lot of you don't know the Bible. All right? So anyway, um let me get uh I'm going to get back to the video. Let me just get back where I was at, where I originally was going to start, All right there. And um, let me see, let me get back here. Um, you know, so here you go, man. So, you know, without further ado, I'm going to play this video, man. And also, too, this video reminds me of uh, Esau's Nightmare. Hey, you brothers that been around for a little while, you know, uh, brothers that been around eight, ten years, seven years, you know, 
uh, 7, 8, 9, 10, 12, whatever, you know, brothers, you know, I'm, I'm pretty sure y'all remember the video Esau Nightmare, you know, I kind of, uh, uh, dog, do I have that video still? I think I do, but Esau took down my old page, so I don't know if I put it up or do I still got it? I think I still got it in my terabyte, but anyway, you know, brothers got that video, man, and this reminds me of that video, all right, how the, how the chariot turns on its side, looking like it's gonna shoot, shoot at you, you know? So, you know, this footage could be actually old. It could be actually years old, but they made published in 2018. And because the way it looks, the way it looked, it's not credible. You know, it's just too sci-fi, I guess. But guess what? The the the, the those hopeful elect that believe in Yahweh Bashim was shy, we know these things to be true, man. Alright? And the most high is revealing more and more and more the, the effects and signs of him coming back. All right, we just read that he's gonna visit this earth in which he made. All right, he's gonna take the uh, the this captivity from from off us Israelites, which are you so-called Negroes, West Indians, Haitians, Hispanics, Native Seminole Indians. All right, we're the true Hebrew Israelites, just like Esau, just like this so-called white man. He's the true Hebrew Edomites, Esau Edom. All right, he comes from Shem as well. Okay, so but the Lord, he's gonna deliver us. And the Lord is going, the Lord is revealing more and more of the angels, man, because he's by he's visiting this earth. OK, and it's going to be more of this, man. It's going to be a lot more and a lot more other things unexplained, man. All right. Which which Esau is going to lie upon when these things happen. OK, so I'm going to play this video. Lord, and I hope uh, brothers, uh, you out there uh, be edified, man. And you know some as this video play, I'm thinking about how the Lord how it was written in Exodus on how the heathens um they called they called our Lord Alasija. Alright, Alasija, which means demon like power. You know, they was calling our our power a, a demon. Because the Lord would terrorize these heathens. And I can see how the Lord would terrorize them, man. Swing a lower chariot like this. The way the chariot turned on his side. The way that chariot turned on his side, it looked like it was going it was an act of war. You know, it was a threat. Alright. It didn't look like it was uh friendly. Uh, you know, and it was to scare these heathens, man. You know, but you got Israel scattered um, among among um you know amongst all the heathens in the world, you know, so Israel is there as well. But you know, I can see how the Lord would te would, uh, would uh, just just bring terror to you, man. Matter of fact, the scriptures say the Lord is the King of Terrors, and it also speaks, <laughs> yeah, it speaks of how Esau, you're gonna meet the King of Terror. You talk about somebody's a terrorist, a terrorist. Well, you the true terrorist. You the one that that uh, goes by the code Auto Ab Ko, you know, Problem Reaction Solution, Order Out of Chaos. You know, that's straight up wickedness, man. You the real terrorist, man. All right. You know, you uh, the people you you, uh, you 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 set you set forth a problem, the people react, and then all of a sudden you come with a solution. That's a pure devil, man. All right, and that's and that's for what control, for power, you know. So you're gonna meet the king of terror, man, when you see Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, man. All right, through his son, all right, and through his elect, you know. So this is a badass video, man. You know, I mean, um. Bring some of this back. I see. Oh, 
You know that it, it look like it's like it's a blast of fire coming out. Like I'm about to shoot. You know. You hear the woman in the back. I don't know what she's saying, but you hear the woman in the back, and um, you know she's um she's frightened, man. All right. You know you're gonna also when these chariots swing low like this, you're gonna hear the trumpet. You're gonna hear that trumpet. You know when when these people hear that trumpet, you know I like to believe that. You know, they, it's unexplained, you know, uh, from even from all the way to Europe, you know, here in America to all the way to Europe, you know, there was a, 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 a strange sound of a trumpet and people didn't know whether it was coming from a ground. It was coming from the air. You know, it could have been the angel blowing the trumpet, man. You know, you, you, you better believe that when the Lord returns, it's going to be some music in the air because <laughs> he Jake. <laughs> That's right. It's going to be some holy music being played. It's going to be some noise, man. All right. <laughs> uh, let me get this quick scripture. Uh, this is Zechariah chapter five and one. It says, then I turned and lifted up my eyes. So Zechariah saw a chariot. He saw this. All right. The most high allowed Zechariah to see one of the chariots, man. All right. Then I turned and lift up my eyes and look and behold, a flying roll. Excuse me. Verse two. Now he called it a flying roll. All right. Because that's the way he, it looked, it looked, it looked, it looked, looked to him. Okay. Now it says verse two. And he said unto me, uh, what see is thou? And I answered, I see a flying roll. And it says the length thereof is 20 cubits and the breathing thereof is 10 cubits. So he describing the length of the chariot to, his, to the best of his ability. It says verse three. Then said he unto me, this is the curse that goeth forth over the face of the whole earth. Is it not, if it, is it not record that these chariots are seen all over the whole earth? Then, I'm going to read it again. Then said he unto me, this is the curse that goeth forth over the face of the whole earth, which is oinklemenic. All right. The whole entire earth. You know, that's a Greek word for the word world. You know, as many uh, when you read, uh, when you uh, get into the word world, you have to look up the word world and what specifically does it mean uh, within that concept, within that that sentence, man. You know, so Uncle Mente, it says, um, uh, for everyone that stilleth shall be cut off on as on this side, according to it. And everyone that swears shall be cut off as on that side, according to it. All right, I will bring it forth, saith the Lord Yahweh of hosts, and it shall enter into the house of the thief and into the house of him that swear falsely by my name. So you Edomites, all right, you elites, you should be trembling. You should you you, you should be afraid. All right, because he's talking to you. The Lord is talking about these Edomites because this place right here, what you call North America is stolen land. All right, you a thief and you got the nerve to charge men for identity theft. You got the nerve to charge men for stealing. You know, you're the biggest thief of them all. And that's why the Lord set up these chariots, which they're, which they're unexplained to you, you know, which you can't grab. You know, there's no UFO that ever crashed. Okay, and they got special equipment. No, man, that technology come from the most high, but through Satan. All right. You would never have a you would never have a vehicle that can uh, be at its excellency like the Lord's chariots, man. It says, I will bring it forth, saith the Lord of hosts, and it shall enter into the house of the thief. What is the house of the thief? This place, America, man. All right. And into the house of him that swear falsely by my name. And you Edomites, you swear falsely by the Lord's name, man. Calling yourself uh, 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 Israel. You know, calling yourself the Jews, tribe of Judah, Levi, you know, you the one that claimed to be the Israelites, you know, you don't want to use that word Israelite. So you call yourself Israeli. All right. You have took in the Lord's land and you placed your people there. Uh, 1940, oh, is it 1948? You established yourself to be, uh, to be the, uh, the, um, 
you know, you establish yourself to be the people of, of that land and you're not, man. All right. It says, uh, I will bring it forth, saith the Lord of hosts, and it shall enter into the house of the thief and into the house of him that swear falsely by my name. And it shall remain in the in the midst of his house and shall consume it with the timber thereof and the stones thereof. All right. It says, then the angel that talked with me went forth and said unto me, lift, lift up now thou eyes and see what it is that thou goeth forth. So there you go, man. All right. Sightings of the chariot, man, in the scriptures. Zachariah saw it, man. And the Lord explained to him what it was. And that's what the prophets are doing today. We're explaining to you what it is. You know, Habakkuk said, I will stand upon my watch and wait to see when I am approved of the Lord. You know what we he's able to tell he said write it up uh, make it plain upon tables that's what we're doing we're using this crystal ball all right which is these cell phones the internet to uh to push this the lord's message across the world man you know uh let me get another quick scripture and i'm gonna wrap this thing up um where was it okay Go ahead. This is Acts chapter one, and I start at verse seven. All right. It says, and he said unto them, it is not for you to know the times or the seasons which the father hath put in his own power. Right. Because no man knows the day and the hour, not even Yahweh Shai, not even who the world ignorantly called Jesus Christ. He don't know the day and the hour. And it's, and it's, and it's written in the scriptures that he says, vengeance burneth within his heart. All right. So he can't wait to get back, but he don't know when he's going to be released to come back. <laughs> All right. So it says, and he said unto them, it is not for you to know the times or the seasons which the father hath put in his own power. But ye shall receive power after that the Holy Spirit is upon you, uh, come upon you. And ye shall be witnesses unto me both in Jerusalem and in all Judea and in Samaria and unto the utmost part of the earth all right so hey the lord's men you know whoever the lord choose they're going to receive spiritual powers man <laughs> when the holy spirit come upon them the rakah kodash okay it says verse 9 and when he has spoken these things and this also proves also uh in verse 8 that our people are scattered okay <laughs> it says let me read that again it says but ye shall receive power after that the holy spirit is come upon you and ye shall be witnesses all right because the men of the lord are witnesses of yahweh and of the gospel unto it says ye shall be witnesses unto me both in jerusalem all right and in all judea and in samaria and unto the utmost part of the earth that's the four corners man all right uh verse nine and when he has spoken these things while they beheld he was taken up and a cloud received him out of their sight. And what was that cloud? That was a chariot, man. All right. That was this. Let me get back. That was this. Because the scriptures refer to as the, the chariots also as clouds. All right. Yeah, man. Yes, sir. Uh, Acts one and um, where I was at? Uh, verse nine. It says, and when he had spoken these things, while they held, while they beheld. He was taken up, meaning he was taken up into the chariot and a cloud received him out of their sight. Verse 10. And while they looked steadfastly toward heaven, as he went up, behold, two men stood by them in white apparel. OK, and these were the angels, two angels, man. OK, and they were standing by these men, you know, which they was the angels was talking to. It says verse 11, which also said, ye men of Galilee, why standing ye gazing up into heaven? This same Yahweh Shai, which is taken up from you into heaven, shall so come in like manner as ye have seen him go into heaven. 
All right. So the way that the Lord was taken up, this is how the Lord is going to return, man. OK. And the angels told the men that, man, uh, let me get this last scripture. This is Revelation chapter one and seven. It says, behold, he cometh with clouds. They go that word cloud again. <laughs> and every eye shall see him. How is every eye going to see the Lord? Because when the Lord comes, he's coming from what? The east, man. And he's coming to the west to deliver the children of Israel. And, the, and the, also the children of Israel scattered abroad, man, throughout the four corners of the earth. And how is every eye going to see him? Because it's going to be a fleet load of chariots, man. That's going to cover the heavens, man. Everyone is going to take part in looking up and seeing the chariots, man, before the great destruction. You know, behold, he cometh with clouds and every eye shall see him. And they also which pierced him. Ooh, how, how is the guys that pierced him when he was on the cross is going to see him? Because the Bible teaches reincarnation. We've all been reincarnated. All right. You and your shell and your flesh, your spirit never dies, man. Your spirit goes back up to the heavenly father when your shell perish. But what? The Lord renew the face of the earth by sending forth your spirit back into the earth, man. Do, 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 do newly flesh. Okay. This is why uh, you jokers can't understand um, certain individuals when they're judged in the earth. Because judgment comes here upon when you're in the earth, not when you're in the heavens. Okay, you know, you might have a little child get hit with a straight bullet, a little four year old child or something like that, a girl or a boy or something. And then you, you will be questioning God. Why did God do this? You know, this person wasn't even old enough to to understand, you know, how would this person get killed like that? Because why? He was being judged for what he'd done in his past life, man. You know, so it says, behold, he cometh with clouds and every eye shall see him. And they also which pierced him. And all kindreds of the earth shall well because of him, even so, our money. <laughs> okay? So they're going to be at all, man. You're going to well. You're going to be frightened. All right? When you see the chariots of the Lord. And this is exactly how uh, the people here in Malaysia uh, that was watching this was frightened, man. <laughs> With that, I want to give all praises to Yahweh, Bahashim Yahweh Shai, Bahashim Rakakwadash. I'd like to give double honors to my apostles and elders of Great Millstone. Salutations to all the Lord's hope for elect scattered abroad, teaching his word of sincerity and truth. Shalom. <laughs> Ya Allah ya Tuhan. Kalau kalau ni kau duduk ni. Ya Allah ya Tuhan. Kalau kalau ni kau duduk ni.